Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Uh, this is a second video of the Git's uh, tutorials. Uh, in this video, uh, I'm going to show the basic Git commands. Uh, as an example, I'm going to use the uh, Spring Pet, Pet Clinic. So basically, this is an open source uh, Spring project. Uh, that is uh, um, in the Spring official website. So we are looking for modify the code and for um, adapt the project uh, for our necessities. So it's a really nice project. It's a uh, 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 interact with the database. So um, basically, we have the basic operations. Uh, and as you can see, we have the different uh, uh, menus, and uh, it's, it's really nice for for learn, no? For learn the uh, Spring. Um, but say, at the moment, so we need to focus in the uh, in Git. So I already copied the um, the project in my GitHub repository. You can see here I have all the code. So um, well, so the the first step uh, is a copy, a clone the repository in in our local machine. So if we, if you watch the the previous videos, I show how to create the a new certificate, SSH certificate for uh, interact with the uh, HitGraph. So uh, in this case, well, I already have the, the certificate. So what I need to do is uh, type the command. So first of all, it's better to create a, a new repository, uh, just a, a, a new a new folder. So I already create this repo folder. So in this folder, so I'm going to type git clone and then the URL. So, well, basically, as you can see here, uh, download or clone the all the project in our local machine. So as you can see the project here. Um, so, well, basically, uh, we have a Git folder with all the information about uh, the repository. Uh, so next time when we type a command, uh, Git know uh, where uh, we need to commit the code so uh, um, so it's not necessary to specify the URL as well uh, again because it's already in, uh, in this uh, uh, configuration no and so uh, I show this uh, folder as an example so we don't need to modify anything here so when we interact with the different branches and uh, in heat graph so uh, our local git so refer the configuration in this uh, uh, .git uh, folder, no? So, well, so, uh, as I already mentioned, so we already have the code in a local machines. Uh, so the next command is git status. So this, this command tell you um, in which branch you are working on so as you can see here, I'm working in the master, in the main, the main one. So you see here the, the master, I don't have any other branches. Uh, and more information about the status, no? So if the, the file change or what happened with the branch at the moment, is it out of date or, or things like that. Um, well, so, when the developers uh, work with the code, um, usually work with the different branches. Uh, so they hardly ever work in the master branch. Uh, that is because it's the, the master code, so 
is where production use. Um, basically, the developers work in the in the branches, and then when they finish, they merge the code in the in the master branch. No, so I'm going to show how to create a new branch here. So we need to type git branch, and then the name of the branch. So for example, example. Uh, branch so um, if I type this status so as you can see I am still in the uh, main branch so that command create a branch uh, in my local uh, repository but uh, so now what we need to do is synchronize with that branch switch with uh, that branch so for for that I use uh, git checkouts red clinic branch red clinic branch okay so uh, so well basically what happened there is uh, uh, if I type git status uh, we have a, a new branch now for work so um, basically we are in the the new branch at the moment so the new branch uh, is not in the um, in github because we never uh, pull uh, push the the branch in github so uh, as we can see we still have the the main as a default so what we need to do is uh, git push and then what uh, git suggests uh, use this uh, set of stream so basically our origin is our local and then the the new branch so they know uh, where uh, we need to uh, push this code so uh, because of the configuration no okay so now you see the remotes uh, use this HTTPS and pull the uh, push the new uh, new branch in in github so now if I enter in github again and refresh the page as we can see we have two branches and then the new branch here so basically the new branch is a copy of the the master branch and we are able now for modify this code and without affect the the main branch no so it's a safe for for work so i'm going to modify one file here so for example this form file uh, so I'm going to give this a version here okay so so now if I want uh, these changes in in github so what we need to do is uh, add the new file but the new file the the modified file uh, and then we need to commit the changes the version okay so as we can see here we have one insertion and one delete and, and then next step is a push that push our changes in the external um, repository so if we come back here and we can see uh, the file was modified uh, 20 seconds ago and then we have the description from the commit and the changes here
Okay, so uh, well, so that is for modify the uh, the code in the branch. So if we wanted to know about the history of the changes, so we type git log. So I have different changes here, but uh, the last changes the last change is this one. So we have a, a commit ID. So with this commit ID. Um, uh, we are able for cherry pick or just uh, uh, ask for more information about the commit but uh, uh, at the moment so with this information is uh, just enough for to figure out uh, which which are the changes no for the this uh, this particular branch in this case the changes is in the, in the main one uh, so we we need to ignore this so and keep the focus in the the branch no um well so another command if we wanted to know which branch we have is a, a branch list so as you can see here so we are in this branch and then we have the the main uh, branch no um, uh, available so if we type git checkouts and then main so now we are in the main branch and then as you can see we have the main branch here no? so if i enter in the pom file so if we can see here we have the old version no? because we never uh, merge the changes with the we, we never merge the branch with the, the master no uh, well so the last command I would like to show is uh, pool so that is another uh, uh, most common uh, and most important command so that is for pull the changes uh, in our local uh, repository. Uh, basically, if two developers are working at the same time in the same uh, branch, and one make a changes in the code, and the other one need to uh, upload the, the branch, no? So for example, in this case, if I'm going to modify this version again so and commit the changes and then here so obviously I make that changes in this branch not in the master so what we need to do is come back to the the other branch Hit check out so we have the branch here as well just copy and paste and, uh, and then so it's in the in the branch now but uh, if I enter in the the pom file we have the old version so because we don't have the changes yet so if we use git pool then we have two uh, changes and then if i git spawn as we can see we have the the changes already no uh, and git log and we have the the description here no uh, well so that is uh, how this uh, git works with the basic commands so hope you enjoy this video and learn something new and in the next videos uh, i'm going to explain the more commands more uh, interesting and uh, more not not common use uh, commands and 
uh, explain more about uh, branches and uh, pull requests and another kind of interesting stuff uh, useful for the work environment or just for uh, learning or uh, study no? okay thank you very much and see you in the next video